Today, I'm stealing my friend's motorcycle. Now, I'm pretty sure they're on vacation. If not, this has a chance to get a little awkward. We've been friends for over 25 years and I've never seen this motorcycle or heard it run. So let's open the door and start digging. A good friend will bail you out of jail, but a best friend will be sitting right next to you. Which is kind of ironic because here I am stealing my best friend's motorcycle. <laughs> this is pretty much a twin to my old, my dad's old Harley. I'm gonna say it's a, I'm gonna say it's a late 60s Ironhead. But really, we all have those people in our lives that we can call for help or just to have a good time. And Marshall and his family are those people. Now I couldn't think of a best better way to say thank you for 25 years of friendship and always being there than to get this old bike out of the garage and running for him. Please tell me we have electric start. Why would we have that? <laughs> Man. You're kicking, Craig. That's gonna take some of the fun out of this. Dang it. It's really clean. The fenders are all nice and straight. The tank looks good. I say the tank looks good. Let's look at the tank. Okay, it's not horrible. We should probably keep moving too so we don't get caught. <laughs> Really, this is the actual first time I'm seeing this motorcycle. I've never seen it before. Let's get out of here before we get busted. Don't forget these air filter covers, air filter battery box cover, all the good stuff. Let's get out of here, Craig. I think I hear sirens. Oh, these wheels are so cool. They got like that big lip on them. Uh, there's a name for them, and I forget what it's called, but they're neat. Well, I'm not sure what I got myself into on this one. I don't know, first time laying eyes on it. It's a pretty simple setup. Battery, kickstart, generator, right side shift. Hey, I guess the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna pull the plugs, make sure this engine turns over. And then I look, there's no oil in the tank, so it's probably all down in the crankcase. So we'll address that, make sure the engine turns over, try to get spark, and then fuel system. And once we have both of those, we're gonna kick like days to get this thing to fire up. All right, let's see. It's the only place that starts the start. the coil coils up underneath the seat that's interesting it doesn't look hateful okay Dan let me see your flashlight mine's dead thank you I'm not seeing anything obvious in the cylinders everything looks pretty good little wear on the walls but it doesn't look like it's tight here let's give it a see if we can turn it over mmm that sounds good right yeah put your thumb over the holes. See if we're building compression on both cylinders. Do the front one first. Ready? Oh, yep. Back one. Yep. Okay. I felt that. Okay. This here, they're not impossible, but they're known for being a little finicky. All right. Well, hopefully we can get enough fire juice in there to get this run. I love how they put the oil pump right on the frame rail. That's outstanding. Choke, that's not doing a thing. What's that? Like a little accelerator pump. I wonder, is that where points would be? Let's look. Okay, look at that, we found the points. So far, easy peasy. How do they look, Craig? We'll need cleaned up for sure. I'm gonna hit them with a little emery. We turn the key on, I'm gonna put 12 volts. And if I flip them points, we should see if we can get spark. Let's try that. We'll see if that's good enough to at least get some sort of spark through it. Let's start here with 12 volts. I wonder if this is a positive ground system. I, I need to look at that. I need to check that because I don't want to screw that up. It's just interesting seeing something for the first time. Let's, I'm going to look here at the wiring quick. I swear I have a book somewhere. 59 to 69 manual. Yamaha. Can am zoning ordinance. My snowmobile, that's a spider, that was a Jeep. Okay, I guess this is the manual I have.
Okay. Got it? And I think so. Everything's showing that I know what I'm doing. I'm just kidding. I don't really know what I'm doing. Oh. You had me, you had me fooled there for a second, Craig. I know. Get in there. Yeah. There, I'm grounded. That's grounded. Where do we got lights? We got lights up here. Do we have a light turn on up there? I don't see no light. Yeah, I don't think anything's turning on. This, you, yeah, it is. Look. Where? We got a red light up here. Do we have anything up here? Okay. So we have some power going through the Ooh. system. Do we get any spark here from the, here at the points? Oh, look. Right in between there. I see it. So we have juice going to the points. Well, let's see if we have anything coming here to our plug wires. Dude, if this thing's gonna have spark, it's gonna be pretty awesome. I'm gonna need your help here. What do you want me to do? And you gotta look for spark. I'm gonna give it a couple boots here. Give it some hot spot. Ready? Yeah. Hey! hey we got spark! Yeah. No, this is almost yeah, too how easy. How about the front one? Check the front one. Ready? Yeah, we got spark. Actually, a pretty decent spark. <laughs> no way. Okay, so we have spark. I don't know my years and everything with these bikes, but it's got to be late 60s, early 70s is my guess. Mine was a 68 and had the same carburetor, the Tilston carburetor. My point setup was different though on this than this one. So there's a little, couple little differences, but it's still right side shift. It's got to be, I don't know. I'm gonna figure it out though by the time we're done here. Dude, this is a this is a nice looking bike. It's hard to believe it's been sitting since the early 80s. I'm not I'm not even making any of this stuff up. That's the really funny part. This isn't YouTube magic. This is I just went and took my friend's motorcycle out of the garage and I'm gonna see if I can get it running. Okay, anyway, we have some spark. That's awesome. That's actually really awesome. We gotta take care of the oil. Let's see if there's any any pumping action. I can't. Oh wait, no, it's coming. Yeah, as I kick it, it's cleaning out the crankcase and coming back into the uh, coming back into the tank. Craig, is it possible that all this bike needs is a new battery and new oil? Could you imagine that? <laughs> like, no joke. Could you imagine that? Clean up the points. I, this carburetor has me a little concerned. I won't lie. Oh boy, floats rotted through. Oh shoot, yeah, it's not supposed to have a hole in it. Um, but dude, if we did some like gas plugs, change the oil and this thing fires up, that would be nutty. I'm excited though. That's gonna take me 18 days of kicking to drain. I found a plug on the bottom. We're gonna get the old oil out and we're gonna put some fresh stuff in and a battery and then maybe we'll hit it with a little juice and see what'll happen. Back to the parts book, Dan. You know how much we all love going to the parts book? I love it. I'm that weirdo that uh, reads parts books for fun. Oil pump, assembly valve tapers, crankcase oil strainer, oil separator bushing. Yeah, that is an accelerator pump on that carburetor. What does that mean? As you get into the throttle, it pumps a little extra fuel into the system. I wonder what I have to take that off without messing it up. Will that be big enough? Hey, looks like somebody hammered on it. It seems kind of violent. What can we do there, Dan? Get a pneumatic torque clamp. Holy mackerel, that's tight. Okay, do you have the right tool to get that off? If I get it off, I do. Holy mackerel, yep, yeah. I got the right tool. This is your primary, so your clutch would be behind here. Crankshaft comes out, goes to what would be like, I don't know, these have compensators like the newer ones. Primary chain to your clutch. See, and then this here would be clutch adjustment. That's not where I'm putting oil. I guess the oil's gonna go in here. So now I gotta take that one off. I do have the right tool for this though. That's what you say now. <laughs> yeah, apparently. Yeah, dog. Is this why they didn't fix it? It's because everything was crusted shut? No, this isn't coming apart too bad. Little filter breather there. 
Okay, so that should have drained the transmission and primary, and depending, there's actually a chance that took away some of the crankcase oil too, because that's a lot of oil in there. That's a couple quarts, and I think I think this is only like 24 ounces or something. I have to read the book again, but I believe that's only 24 ounces, so we probably took out some engine oil too. So we're gonna get oil and then a battery, and then I think we're gonna start kick-starting, and we're gonna see what happens. Okay, so. We're gonna throw 24 ounces of this in. And I should probably be using 60 weight oil instead of 2050, but all they had was 2050. I'm gonna get this thing running and then we'll go through and we'll drain stuff again and put uh, 60 weight in. That'll just help clean things out. Those share oil, so I guess, guess we're good there. There it is. I tell you, we're not gonna go as tight as it was. Maybe it has to be that tight. Nope, it needs to be that tight right there. No more, no less. Okay, let's get some oil into the oil tank too, because I'm pretty sure we drained most of that out through the trans and primary. This carburetor really has me concerned. These things are notorious for once they're not working, they just don't work. This thing's going to run. I know it. I feel it in my bones, Dan, in my bones, right in my bones. Let's dump this oil in my oil dump. I do miss having a 55 gallon drain oil drum, but I decided it took up a lot of space in the shop and I don't need it like I used to. So now it's five gallons at a time, my friend. I'm gonna start bringing my, my no, oil to no, your shop. No, you're not. Where am I gonna put it, Craig? Where you am I gonna a, put it? You got a barrel. You can dump it outside like the rest of us. I'm gonna cut that out. <laughs> Nobody dumps their oil outside. You can dump your oil in our flower beds just like the rest of us. Cut that out. You're supposed to put it in a creek. Whew, man. On the excited scale of one to 10, how excited I am to kick this thing. You'd say it's about, about, a, a, about a nine a, and a half. About a two. But I tell you what, when we hear it fire up, I am going to be... I might even have you kick it. All right. I'll do it. Will you? I ain't scared. Will you, Dan? Okay, Dan. Dan, okay. We got oil. Spark plugs. We'll put new plugs in when they come. I went to the parts store. Would you believe they did not have parts for a 19-something, 60-something? I am befuddled. Befuddled. Thought you were going to say you're a buffoon. Okay. Get the tools off here. Are we about ready to kick it? I think so, my friend. Kick it! Man, I hope it's about ready to fire up. I'm gonna clean these points a little more. I don't wanna be uh, kicking and kicking and we got bad. Why wouldn't they put a magnet on the bottom? Poor design. Craig could have designed a better flashlight. In my sleep. Let me hit this with a little. Get some paper here. Notebook paper works good for this. So does starting fluid because it dries fast. Okay, we're gonna get them points nice and clean, just like that. Okay, I didn't touch this carburetor yet and that's kind of by design. Yeah, because these things are not fun to work on. So we're gonna see, I'm gonna double check spark here. This can get grounded. And then this is gonna come up here. Okay, Dan, table up, my friend. Table up, we're gonna set the table down a little bit. We're gonna kick this. Yeah! We have some fresh oil in the system. Uh, I have new plugs coming. I, they didn't have them at the store, but they'll be here in a little bit. I still got this old carburetor. I have not touched the fuel system yet. We got fresh oil and I'm gonna double check that we still have spark. And then we're just gonna spray it a little bit and see if we get any sort of life out of this motor. Then we're gonna tackle the fuel system and take it from there. That's all hooked up. Key on. A little spark. Okay, we got spark. We got compression. Oh man, I'm really not looking forward to kicking this thing. Why not? Ah, it's gonna kick like a mule. What's gonna make this worse than all the other bikes you've kicked? I don't know, probably nothing. It's just in my head, but here we are. Yeah, all right, let's see what happens. Oh, -ho! we need to get some gas to this thing. Ha <laughs> ha! 
food. <laughs> How exciting is that? Is it running how long? It, I, I'm guessing the sticker said 81, 82, so hasn't run in 40 years. No way. No way. No way. It's that easy. I, is that, is this even? I have no idea what's going on with this carburetor. We'll kind of just figure it out as we go. You just pump some gas in, it'll be fine. That's what I'm thinking. Well, that's no good. The hose is split, like all over. Ooh. So we're gonna just pull that off. Oh, oh, wait, what? Carby's a little loose. Let's get this squared away here. Let's not get too rammy right away. Let's get this off there. Engage your safety squints. Yeah, that's bad. Okay, okay, I'm excited. I'm still excited. Got work. Now, am I gonna be able to stick this? in there oh yeah plenty now let's see if gas pours out the carburetor yep okay so it all just came right out the vent line that's the thing all right let's see if we can get this thing to fire up maybe it'll run under with some gas and some starting fluid some i don't know we'll see dan you ready my friend i'm ready Okay, I might need you to do stuff. We'll see. All right, sweet. I'm always ready to do stuff. Yeah, get ready with that spray. And if it fires, just keep giving it little whiffs. There you go. That's like 40 years, dude. This thing's just been sitting in the shop doing nothing. Uh-oh. What? I got oil. Oil where? Oil coming out of that line. Maybe that line's just loose. That's still looking good. Um, let me grab a wrench and see if that's just loosened up. Yeah, I got some leaking here, too. Okay, so probably build oil pressure. Okay, so we got it to, we got it to like fire, right? So it ran for a second. That's amazing. <laughs> That's amazing. Um, I, I still think this carburetor is going to be a huge issue for us. You got to figure that out. But right now we have some oil leaking out of our oil lines that are feeding the top end here. So I'm going to cinch them up. Hopefully, hopefully it's just, yeah, see that one was loose. I think it's just a matter of doing some cinching. Boy, that's tight enough. Let's clean that off. Help tell us if we got the leak resolved. Um, figure out how to get gas into that carburetor. I wonder what would happen if I just plug that. Let's try it. This is the vent, vent line. I'll be honest, I don't understand these carburetors very well. I've only ever worked on one of them in my whole life. I picked the exact wrong set of pliers to do that kind of job. So I don't exactly understand all the ins and outs with them, but carburetor is a carburetor. The principle's all the same. So we just have to figure out here what's what. That's the spirit. That's what I was thinking. Ouch! I hate these clamps. They're my least favorite clamps. Oh, for frog snacks. I wonder if I can put a cap over this. If I can get that to stop leaking. I'm getting some really gnarly gas here out of the accelerator pump. I'm gonna clarify this for everybody. All I'm doing right now is trying to get the bike started, okay? I'm not restoring it. I'm not pulling apart the engine. I'm doing the bare minimum to get this bike running because that is the first step in having fun. So what that'll do is hopefully it'll get my friend excited about it and we can get our old Harleys out and go for a ride, take the ladies for ice cream or something like that. So. If I can at least get it running and I can get it to fire up with a couple kick starts, I think he's ship shape. We can always put tires on it. We can always go through and correct the little issues as we go, but getting it to run is definitely the most important. We got it started. Now we want it to stay started. That's running. Yeah, it's borderline. I'm gonna put this lid on though a little bit so that when it falls, I don't get gas everywhere. I just get it some places <laughs> jank it'll be fine it'll be fine <laughs> there's a very good chance i'm gonna get zero gas out of this carburetor it's just gonna be gummed up it's my gas okay 
let's do this again. It's gonna be really exciting when this thing falls. Turn that on, give it some hits of that. We're gonna do this. Hey, it ran longer, good catch. Oh uh, yeah, this is completely off. Oh, <laughs> I'm just gonna wait, leave it wait, there. Wait, we wanted it shorter. <laughs> I don't know, let's try it again, what the heck. Do you want me to just hold the gas thing yeah, up? Yeah, why don't you? That's Seems like it's gonna. Seems like a thing. Here you go. Okay. All right. Get some throttle. I punt the can across the room. Oh. A little more. So that's it, the carb is good. I don't know if it's good, but it's good enough. <laughs> it ran. Do you want me to open a door or something? Um, I guess if you want to be a loser. I'm gonna see if I can get this thing to idle a little bit under its own power. pumping oil out of that. It's like we might have something coming from somewhere. Probably takes new push rod. These are cork seals on these tubes. Um, you know, so they need to swell up again. Need to get some oil running through this system. You know, that's gonna help everything. Oh my word, <laughs> I'll be dipped. I wanna see here if it'll start without starting fluid. Ah, it likes this. Yeah, the carb is just way dirty. Oh, got a little kickback there. Oh, now we're squirting with the accelerator pump. Looks like we took care of most of that oil leak. I don't really see anything spewing out right now. Oil leak goes out right away. Ah. I should hook that idle cable up. So now that I have the gas tank cleaned out and ready for fresh fuel, all that's left to do is put in the new plugs, install the new battery. We're gonna run fresh fuel line and a fuel filter, and this thing is gonna be ready to go. It's him. Uh-oh. How, How are you doing? I'm doing all right. How's vacation? It, it always goes too fast. You know how it goes. Yeah, for sure. But plenty of fun. When did you get home? We drove in, uh, left late, and got home late last night. And Yeah, I'm, I'm putting some stuff away here, and uh, I noticed the Sportster's sports is gone. So, uh, Which Sportster? Oh, Dad's Sportster. It's 71. Yeah, so... Everybody's kind of a little nervous and jerky here, but uh, before I call the cops or anything, uh, you don't know anything about it, do you? Um, um, what's that? I was, I was going through a tunnel. You were breaking up. <laughs> what are you doing this morning? Uh, either filing police reports or uh, finishing my coffee, <laughs> one or the other. How about you grab your coffee and I'll meet you over at your dad's in like 20 minutes. That, All right. sounds like a much better, that sounds like a much better plan. <laughs> I couldn't tell if he was, I think he was a little nervous. So I'm gonna take this thing around the block quick before dropping it off at my friends to surprise him, his dad, and his son. Oh, oh man, first ride in 40 years. 
pretty cool. <laughs> on the road for the first time in 40 years. And I gotta remember here, right side shift, second gear. We have uh, we have some brakes. This is cool. Third gear, transmission's a little sticky. Fourth gear, we have all the gears. We have decent brakes. Oh boy, stop sign. That definitely needs a good tune up. Good go through, but holy mackerel, it's running. And it's on the road for the first time in a long time. It is looking awesome. There it goes. <laughs> this is great. Make sure everything's working. The transmission, the clutch, the brakes, they're all okay. Engine seems to be running, honestly, really good for sitting for 40 years and having that... Uh, having that style carburetor on it. This bike has a ton of potential. It cleaned up really nice. I am so excited. My buddy's back in town from vacation and I figured, you know what? I'm gonna double down and I'm gonna surprise both him and his dad. So uh, I talked to Craig this morning, gave him a call. I was either gonna call Craig or the state police, figure out where the Sportster went. <laughs> Okay. And once this thing gets dialed in better, it is gonna start pretty easy and it's gonna be a good bike to just hop on and go for a little cruise. Get the wind in your helmet, the bugs in your teeth, you know, all that sort of good stuff. Putting stuff away from uh, vacation and... And all of a sudden it wasn't there. And it wasn't there. It's been the same place for a few years. It's starting to rain a little bit. I don't like rain in a movie. That's always the turning point. Oh boy, first gear, do I have brakes? Yeah, I got some brakes. So Craig said we should, uh, I should come down here. He'll be here shortly. Because I thought it was still in pieces. Right. Yeah, but it's in one piece. I don't know. He might he might show up in a wagon, I, <laughs> yeah, that's a wheelbarrow true. or a wagon. I don't know yet. That's true. We never know what to expect. No. <laughs> She, she likes to run. Yes, she does. <laughs> Those are like the original pipes and everything. Yeah. I'll be honest, I don't know much about it. I heard it's a 71. Yep. It's kickstart only. That's fun. <laughs> oh, my God. Lost a couple pounds. Lost a couple pounds. It's right side shift. Yeah. That's neat. Like, that's neat when you're trying to stop at a stop sign. Outside and you get, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, you, you have to rethink everything. Oh, see, so you got both, uh, both, the, both the gases on. So yeah. And we got the... Uh, we got the original tag here from uh, Reading Harley Davidson. Yeah, how cool is that? Uh, I think it was 20, 21 or twenty-three hundred dollars. Did you buy this new? It was a year old. Okay. Yeah, it was a year. How many miles on it? Is that tenths on the end? Eighteen hundred and eighty, or would it be eighteen thousand? Eighteen thousand. Yeah, that yeah. makes more sense. That makes more sense. Yeah, I just I, it, it was running up there the whole time. And then the accelerator pump stopped accelerating. Um, I'm just, the fuel filter's a little dirty now. <laughs> Horn works. <laughs> I'm a glutton for punishment. I'll say you are. Okay, so that's how you kick it. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> I can, I remember that. Well, it definitely looks better here than in the garage. Who cleaned the rims up? People, I have people for that. 
obviously it's not dialed like you know right. it needs yeah. tires and well yeah you would be covered in sweat yeah yeah <laughs> but <laughs> it looks like you were at dorney park or something i know <laughs> oh, i feel like it mackerel you were on the water on the ride. i had 15 amish kids watching me they were all <laughs> laughing at me that was fun yeah i bet i remember putting the the extra chrome on the uh the the foot pegs you buy the foam foam chrome foot pegs and cut the rubber off at the end so oh. everybody can see that. See the chrome? Yeah, oh yeah. So you buy the chrome pegs that are normally covered by the rubber. Yep. Then you cut the rubber so that they can see that you bought the chrome pegs. Exactly. Man. Yeah. So cool back then. <laughs> I'm surprised the clutch cable. Still works. working? Yeah. Yeah. Because that was, I rode this home from Lancaster one time from work without, without a clutch at all. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, I'll be honest, this morning was the first time I rode it. Oh. So. I, I'm, I'm glad it worked too. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, guys, that wraps up this video. We got this bike running after like 40 years of sitting and uh, we gave it back. We have three generations here and now they can have fun with it and enjoy it together. I'm looking forward to the next one. Don't forget to like and subscribe this video. Here's two more. I know you're going to love them. Check them out. <laughs> <laughs>